Hello and welcome to another Dell Boy gameplay video. Um, as most people know, I like to do some remake or remastered videos and I like to do them on games that I've sort of played in the past, mostly on 8-bit or 16-bit systems. Um, this one is no different, only it's possibly my fourth attempt at the same type of game. Um, if you look back at my back catalogue, um, I've done um, a little walkthrough of Gravitar, which was reloaded by Atari. And then just recently I've done Gravitron 2 and Pilots of Darcelon. All of these games are similar to a game that I played a long time ago called Frost. And going through some of my catalogue, I noticed I had a very, very old game called Thrust Extreme. And this particular version, Thrust Extreme, is free. I've had it for a number of years, but it has something that the other games I mentioned don't have, which in my opinion puts it on the same level as those. And what is that? Well, it has a game editor and it also has an object editor. So if you're finished playing with the game and you're finished um, with some of the other versions of this type of game, you have an editor that you can create new worlds and new aliens with. Um, on top of that, it keeps its sort of vector look of the original so more and more this one becomes not an anomaly but possibly better than the others but I'm gonna let you decide on whether you think that this is better than the others by letting you just see a few levels and maybe you'll find that the levels are very similar to the 8-bit versions of Frost so let's start shall we straight away you can see that the vector look and the graphics do look very much like the original Thrust. It has a very similar graphic physics. In other words, it's um, quite strong at pulling down. And because of the keyboard, and uh, or you can use this on the joypad method, you will tend to find that you'll be pressing two keys down to get shield and fuel. And you will need to work out which one is which very quickly. There we go. So we need to pick up this orb and then fly up. When you take off from the planet, that's the level finished. You can destroy the reactor, that destroys the world. If you do both, you get a bigger bonus. Um, so we might try that on a couple of levels, but for now, we're just going to see what the other levels look like and how close they are to the original. So here we go. We're going a bit deeper down, just as it said. We're okay for fuel, but the fuel does carry over slightly into the next levels. So I think we've got enough fuel for now. What you also need to remember is you don't need to hold the shield pickup button all the time um, to take off. As soon as you grapple the line you can let go of the shield button. Otherwise you will find your fuel will diminish very very quickly. So we're going deeper again. As you can see it's already offering me some fuel before I go down and it might be sensible to do so. Should be enough. The very early levels are usually quite short. Sure. 
and as you can see here there's quite an amount of fuel for you to take up now I'm not too worried about those fuels but this you really do either need to shoot or take because you are going to need to leave the world and you are going to need to go through this quite narrow gap to like say the control method is something that you will get used to go so now we've got to pick this up and get through that narrow chicane and we picked it up and we don't need the shield anymore or we shouldn't need to unless we come across some guns that I didn't get rid of now the gravity constantly pulls you and therefore also um, add something to when you're carrying that ball it really is heavy and well I think we'll call this one the last one if I can do it because this is really just thrust and what I will say about it is all of those worlds I've seen just now really are identical to the original thrust so if you are looking for uh, a version that you don't want to play under emulation and I would say this is possibly the perfect one. But if you want something a little bit newer and more modern, please do consider some of those other games. Especially Gravitron 2, which I consider to be the better of all the versions that I've played. It's just if you want to play a quintessential game of Thrust, I would say this is the one. It's so smooth as well. And it really brings back memories, this game. Sometimes memories of frustration. It depends on how difficult you make it for yourself. <laughs> So you can see here we're starting to bring in switch gates. And I bet you that's going to close. Look at that. So this one's going to be a bit tricky because not only am I going to have a bloody great big weight following behind me, but I've also somehow got to be incredibly accurate with the switch. Oh. Got it. As you can see, as I keep pushing the thrust on, it's almost like you're pushing it. So you have to be very, very careful. And then off into the world. And that's another world done. So I don't think I really need to show you too much more. Um, this I think is possibly the nicest version of Thrust which has added a little bit of a lick of paint to it but gives you the quintessential honest t uh, version of Thrust that you'd have got in the old 8-bit eras. Um, I just want to add that this comes with a level editor to create your own worlds and an object editor and although I'm not going to show you those they're included in the file that you download with the game and it's very very simple to use um, 
and those two things along with this game and it's free I believe is then worthy of your attention I hope you agree with me um, along that along those lines and I hope to see you in the next gameplay game that I play and uh, I hope you all have a great time speak to you all soon thanks very much for watching bye bye